Yo, what's going on guys? Why 5 gear welcome to a new player review. Today we are looking at a player that might be one of the most overpowered strikers on FIFA 20. Yes, we have got the 83 rated welfare Zaha. He has got a good looking card on FIFA 20 with insane stats for a striker. Now I think everyone know him and know how good he was on FIFA 19. He was one of my favorite super subs to use on FIFA 19. 5 star skill moves and high attacking work rate as well. Now he has got 91 pace, 87 dribbling. 76 shooting with 72 passing and 74 physical really good stats for a striker now for his price right now he's around 30k and we will see on the gameplay if he deserves 30k now let's take a look at his in-game stats he has got 88 acceleration with 93 sprint speed 78 finishing with 81 shot power and 70 long shots now for his passing and dribbling stats he has got 76 vision 75 short pass with 65 long pass 87 agility 77 reactions 87 ball control with 81 composer and for his physical stats he has got 58 jumping with 76 stamina 74 strength and 73 aggression really good pace shooting and dribbling stats for a striker now work rate of high low which is of course good for a striker because of the high attacking work rate 3 star weak foot with 5 star skill moves which is of course if he had better weak foot that would be much better now for the best instructions to use with him i think he should get in behind because he has got 91 base and high attacking work rate which means he will get in behind easily however guys now before jumping into the gameplay if you're not around here don't forget to subscribe drop a like on this video that will be always appreciated now into the gameplay we go 83 rated welfare Zaha is he one of the most overpowered strikers on FIFA 20 we will see on this gameplay now first of all I think everyone know who is Walford the hand we all know that he's so overboard on ultimate team I really like him in game with his 5 star skill moves and as you all know on FIFA 20 skill moves does really matter of course he has got 91 base and trust me in game he is so so quick with amazing dribbling abilities really good agility with really good balance and ball control now I know he only got 76 shooting and I'm not gonna lie he missed a lot of shots even inside the box but if you use a game style that increases his shooting like sniper Sniper, finisher or dead eye his shooting will be not bad at all for an 83 rated striker but of course at the same time he has got some bad things and I'm going to start off with his physical his whole physical is bad in game he has got 58 jumping with 76 stamina for a striker who will be running all the game so the question is does he deserve 30k however guys now before going into the good and best of things let's talk about the best game style to use with him now for me without the games I have played with him I use dead eye game style which increase his shooting and passing using the dead eye game style who will be an 83 rated striker with 86 shooting and 79 passing anyway guys now moving on into the good and best of things starting off the best thing with him which is going to be his base 91 base and trust me in game he is so so quick he can get in behind easily if you like your striker to get in behind trust me Zaha is the player that you need anyway guys now moving on into another great thing with him which is going to be his dribbling really good dribbling in game and trust me no defender can take the ball off him easily now the best thing with his dribbling I have to mention it which is going to be his agility he has got 87 agility and his agility is so good in game now what about his shooting does he has bad shooting in game now I'm going to be honest with you he doesn't have the best shooting ever and like I said I missed a lot of shots with him now he only got 70 long shots and I'm not gonna lie to you he doesn't have good long shots in game now the best thing with his shooting I have to mention it which is going to be his finishing good finishing for an 83 rated striker and using the dead eye game style he will have 93 finishing now the last good thing with him I I have to mention it which is going to be his skill moves 5 star skill moves which is a lovely thing to have on a striker anyway guys now moving on into the bad things that 83 rated welfare Taha has now I'm going to start off with his physical and I'm not gonna lie to you everything with his physical is bad he only got 58 jumping and as you all know jumping does really matter for a striker and his strength and aggression is bad in game now another bad thing with him is going to be his stamina he only got 76 stamina and for me that is bad for a striker who will be running all the game and for his passing his passing is not perfect for a striker but using the dead alchemy style he will have good passing not bad at all 
In the end, I think he is a really good striker on FIFA 20. I really loved him in game, and I think he is so overpowered as well. He is so quick in game with five star skill moves and great dribbling abilities. Now I'm going to give him 10 out of 10 for his pace, 9 out of 10 for his dribbling, and if he had better reactions, I would give him 10 out of 10 for his dribbling, 7 out of 10 for his shooting, and 6 out of 10 for his passing and physical. And like I said, I'm sorry about that, but his physical is so bad in game. Now overall for a striker who will cost you 30k i will give him 8 out of 10 because of his pace sprint speed finishing dribbling agility balance ball control and five star skill moves anyway guys i hope you enjoyed the video and the gameplay don't forget to subscribe like and comment and tell me on the comment below which player do you want to see next i will see you all in the next video peace